The title of this lab is Density of Pennies. We are going to measure the density of the pre-1982 pennies and compare it to the post-1983 pennies. The lab is also about uh, recording measurements with the correct significant digits and propagating those significant digits correctly through the calculations that you will have to do afterwards. You will also gain practice with the software that should be installed on your uh, laptop, which is called the uh, Logger Pro. We're going to measure groups of pre-1982 pennies. Uh, the groups are formed by putting five pennies together. And it's really important that uh, you keep track of the um, weight of each group separately. And in order to weigh the, uh, the groups, we first will have to zero the scale. Um, and that, that is the first group. Notice that uh, the uh, last digit will vary a little bit. And that's because there is air flowing in the room. And this is the weight of the total weight of the two groups. I've added the second group now. And now I will add the uh, third group. And the fourth group. And here's the weight of the fifth group. OK, so now we're going to measure the um, volume displaced by each group of pennies. Uh, I have filled here a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder with about 20 mils of water, or about 21, I should say. And I will now add the first group of five pennies. Uh, you have to be careful when you add the pennies that the water does not splash out of the graduated cylinder. Please take that measurement. And now I will add the second group. The third group. The fourth group. and the fifth group. Now that you recorded this volume, the next step is just to simply um, of uh, water and pull out the pennies and set them out to dry before we store them. Otherwise, uh, there'll be a tendency for the pennies to oxidize and, and develop a coating which actually adds to the weight of the penny and provide us with an incorrect reading for their weight. All right, so now we proceed to the next group of pennies, the post-1983 pennies. And I, I will carry out the same measurements that we're done with the first group. Uh, the scale is zeroed. So here's the first group of pennies. Okay. And the second group. And third group. And fourth group, but wait a minute. There is a, uh, there is one of them, looks a little bit different from the others. Um, 
and that is because all metals uh, react with oxygen in the air. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is wipe the penny that has this dark coating on it with steel wool so that I remove this coating. Question to you would be why, why does this make a difference? Why would the uh, oxide coating make any difference? So as you can see now, it's clean as the others. So we can proceed with our measurement. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the five pennies and form the fourth group. And now I'll, I'll go get the remaining five pennies and form the last group, the fifth group. Okay, so I have here about 20 mils of water, and I'm going to add each group of pennies that we have weighed, starting with group one, to this volume of water. Your job is to measure the volume increase uh, that is uh, caused by the addition of each group of pennies. That's group one. And now it's group two. Group three. Group four. And group five. Now we're complete with the experimental part. Your job now is to go to Logger Pro, input the data, and derive the uh, density of the pennies pre-82 and post-83. And turn in a report when you're done.